one you've all been waiting for, how to build a multi-million pound property business, explained by me. Number one, education. Without education, there is nothing that you can do, but guys, education doesn't have to cost, it can be free. We have books, we have YouTube, we have free networking events, we have lots of free information out there that can help you get educated. Yes, there are lots of courses, there are lots of gurus, there are lots of people out there that actually call me a guru, but the difference with me is I practice what I preach. So you can pay for courses, you can pay for education, you can pay for mentors, it's all down to you and what suits you, but education is definitely the first step. Number two, develop a business plan. Now guys, this is a lot easier than you think. A lot of people spend a lot of time on business plans and they are something that you do have to put a lot of thought into. But you've got education, you understand what strategy is for you, now you need to create a roadmap to be able to get to the targets that you're going to set out. Dream big is my whole mantra. Now I want all of you to dream as big as you possibly can, but I also want you to implement steps to get to your dream. Now if you don't have a plan, you will literally just do this constantly and you will not get anywhere. But if you have a plan and you implement the plan, you will definitely, definitely reach your target quicker. Number three, build your network. Your network is your net worth. It's something you hear all the time, you see all over social media. It's the most truest saying there is. Without a network, there isn't a lot you can actually do. So who should your network consist of? Well, you have mortgage advisors, you have solicitors, accountants, contractors, structural engineers, architects. All these people can massively help you, but also in your network should be the everyday person, like-minded people who are trying to achieve the same things. Don't surround yourself with idiots. If you're surrounded by idiots, you will become an idiot. So make sure the network that you choose is one that elevates you. Number four, strategy. You've got educated, you've got your business plan, you've built your network, now it's time to implement all of this skill into your strategy. They say that 10,000 hours is how long it takes to become an expert in your field. Now guys, strategy, whichever one you pick, you need to give 110% to. When you put 110% effort into something, you will be successful and you will attract other people who see how hard you work. So once you know your strategy, make sure you focus on it, laser-like, and never give up. Number five, secure funding. Now, we all know that to grow, you will have to use other people's money. This can be investors, it can be banks, it can be pension funds, it can be hedge funds. The best time to look for investment is when you don't need it. What? Because when you need investment, guys, you will run around like a headless chicken, offering more than you need to. But if you secure investment for when something lands on your desk or your lap, you are seriously, seriously in a powerful position. If you continue as well to use the same lenders, they will work with you longer, you will get beneficial rates, they will offer you things that they wouldn't offer you at the beginning. It's all about long-term relationships. It's the same with investors. If you deliver on what you say, they will always come back because you will have the credibility to show you are as good as you say you are. Number six, start small. I see so many people jump on the bandwagon wanting to do big deals only, creating massive commercial conversions, wanting to build 50 houses. Guys, there's a process. There is a reason that every single person was once a beginner. Well, experts were once a beginner. So, take it easy, small steps, start with something that's manageable, see if you enjoy it, find out what went wrong, concentrate on the parts that you can improve on, and these small steps will turn into massive strides. My final tip is to stay organized. Make sure you stay on top of everything from the contractors that you've used, where they went wrong, where they went right, your finances. Guys, finances in this industry are key. 
Make sure you don't lose track of the cash pots that you have by doing the wrong strategy and tying all of your money up. Cash flow is king. When you stay organized, you can make informed decisions a lot quicker, you can move fast, and you can be more appealing to people in the market who are trying to offer you deals. Remember guys, building a multi-million pound property business takes a long time, it takes a lot of effort, it takes a lot of failures, but the successes will come. You need to dream big, but you also need to understand that there's a process, and if it was that easy, we would all be property millionaires. So until next time, keep smiling.